Hey guys, Paul from Net Audio here, and we're going to do kind of a little update video today on our behind the seat Rams. We've got enough of these out in the wild now. Um, we've been shipping them now for around a year and a half or so. We build them in batches. So every batch that we send out, we get feedback from the customers. Hey, this didn't work. Hey, this worked. You know, we've installed them locally and we've made some running changes. So we thought it would be nice to get some updates on some of the small changes that we've made. But also we get a lot of requests for people who are wanting to do the premium audio systems. And that's a little bit more involved. I wanted to talk about real quickly what's different about it and why it's not on the website. Like I said, we've got enough of these out in the wild now that we can say confidently that honestly, it's about a 50-50 on guys who are just adding bass versus people who are doing the, the dual amp setup where they're running the subwoofer amp and the four channel. That kind of surprised us. I really figured more people would be adding bass only, um, but we, we've been doing quite a few of these. Small changes that we've made, uh, we've brought down the amp rack area so we could shift the amps down. It's only a, a quarter inch thick, so it's just big enough for us to mount amps to uh, without us you know, pushing them further into the seat. We've had a few people say that this gets in the way of the e-torque wiring. It really shouldn't, it's just wires. You don't need to trim and cut and modify the box, please. If you have issues with fitment, call us before you start cutting up something this is something, like I said, we do install them. We have put them in customers' vehicles. We know that they fit. Before you start cutting stuff up and modifying things, reach out to us and give us a shout. Because if you start cutting stuff up, it's gonna really complicate things if you wanna return things or do whatever with it. So we know that this does fit. Another thing that we've done is we've added just a small relief. There's a little nut here. And then this, uh, we've ended up moving it and making it a little bit smaller. You know, we've just changed up a bunch of little bitty small things just to help with fitment be a little bit easier. But as far as the equipment itself, haven't really changed anything. We do sell a lot more of the Audison subs than we do the audio control subs. They're both excellent solutions, but for the price difference between the two, the Audison is definitely more popular. We've got three of them here. All three of them have the Audison subwoofer. This one is for the Harman system, and it has the Harman plug that just plugs right into where the factory subwoofer was, your subwoofer knob cable, and your uh, power cable and ground. This dual amp setup is for the base audio package. Same thing comes with the two amps, your power, ground, fuse block, and then your, um, your ANC bypass harness. So this plugs in just underneath the driver's seat. So super simple installation. Now the difference between base audio for the four channel setup versus premium is now we're having to get completely around the factory amplified setup. By the time you do cabling and the, the pack amp pro and the differences with that stuff, it's generally about 500 and something dollars difference to upgrade it, but now you still have to replace the speakers. You're not going to be able to do this and keep your factory speakers. You will have to replace them. That's why we don't have it on the website that way. We have it, it's in the text, big bold black lettering. This is not for the Harman or premium system doing the four channel amplifier. You know, it is on there as text. That's why is because this is all required to change and do stuff up. So it's not impossible, it's just a big step up. In this case in particular, we're doing the Pack Amp Pro. We've already got our RCAs and everything pre-wired on that. You run the RCAs down the passenger side so it stays away from your power wire and your return run. Now we've modified and using our amplifier bypass harness instead of our ANC harness. This still runs up the driver's side and plugs in under the driver's seat. In this case, we also added uh, base blockers for a little extra protection for the three and a halfs he installed on the dash locations. So this is you know pre-wired and ready to go for running the four doors in the dash. In most applications, that's our preference. It really complicates things once you start trying to add back speakers and definitely if you're adding center speakers. So it's all totally possible. We can absolutely do all of that stuff plug and play. It's just something more involved than probably running a small 50 by four or four channel amplifier. We just wanted to go over that. Yes, it's absolutely a thing we can do. If you wanna do it, you need to email us or call us so we can go over the options for you. And we can source you know, just these parts 
if you want to replace speakers and do everything, we can source and help you pick out what speaker options are going to work best for you. So we can take care of all of that stuff. Like I said, it's just way too many options to sit here and list out on a couple of drop downs on the website. That's why we wanted to give a little quick just update. We have base only, dual amp, four channel and sub and dual amp four channel and sub and out in this case this is the alpine integration and bypass system if you have questions on it feel free to give us a call 940-767-1800 you can always hit us up in an email uh, at paul at netaudio.com facebook instagram comments below like and subscribe you know all the fun stuff we always respond we always chat and answer any of our emails and comments and stuff that we get so if you need something hit us up and we'll get you taken care of thanks guys